Ty Shea from Microdex Mushrooms here back in the PCT lab. Uh, today we're going to be picking up where we left off. We've got some fresh agar plates. We've got a bunch of specimen today. We've got a uh, local uh, Ganoderma reishi that was growing out of the sidewalk just a few blocks from here. Uh, I cultured this back about a year ago and I played with it a little bit but didn't get too far into it so we're going to start that back up today. Uh, we've got a uh, Ganoderma sinense, or uh, sinense, and this is a, typically a uh, reishi is like red, yellow, and white, and you can see that as it grows, but this reishi is actually black, it grows black and white, and I haven't fruited it quite yet, I've got some back at the house that just started pinning, but uh, I want to grow them in a lab space and see how they do, so we're going to do that too. And we've also got this other local lion's mane uh, fan favorite. And this one's pretty cool. This was the first time I ever found lion's mane wild in person. And I found it at a dog park while I was just walking with some dogs. And you never know when fungi are gonna find you. So I took a culture of that and put it on a petri dish and it's been growing out for a while. Um, there was a lot of bacteria on it because I caught it was kind of rotting. Uh, so it took a lot of isolations, but I think we're on the final isolation now. And we're gonna do that final isolation today. Hopefully get that clean and then grow it out and start eating it again. Uh, we've also got uh, another lion's mane. Uh, this one's already been cleaned up pretty well. Uh, and this is, this, is, uh, this is mycelium, just like the, what's on these plates. But this is just in a liquid culture and it's kept sterile by keeping it in a sterile syringe. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sterilize the needle and we're gonna shoot some of this onto the plate. It should be clean, but you can never be too safe when you're growing in liquids. Gloves on, 70% ISO. So before I put things in my sterile space, I'm just gonna lightly spray my area. That's gonna evaporate because we've got the sterile air coming down from the top. And this is the Sinense Black Reishi. This is what I call the, the sidewalk reishi, the one I found growing out of a crack in the sidewalk. This is Lion's Mane on Liquid Culture. Just a light spray. These have been sitting inside of the flow hood since I made them in the last video. These are pretty good. A little foggy, but you know. Nice. So let's start with an easy one. So the reishi is uh, very uniform across, it grows across the surface and it creates like a thicker skin. I'm going to flame sterilize this, uh, but always take note when you use alcohol, that alcohol is flammable. So if you take a torch to something, doused in alcohol, it's going to catch on fire. So reishi creates like a thick skin, so it can be a little bit difficult to cut through it or really try to hold on. And we're just going to take this, place it right on the plate.
like to do right after. So I'll take the plates that I just made, take the plate associated with it, and I'll put it off to the side. They'll be on top. I'm gonna do a little inoculation of the lion's man. on the bottom of the needle. So that's done. To the side. Next up, some nips. So what you can see, like, so we took from grain spawn and just dropped a little bit of it onto the agar and you can see they kind of dispersed out uh, if you look really closely you can see the individual strands of the mycelium coming from the grain itself so it's going like this and they just have a lot of extra nutrient coming off that grain and what you can do you can just keep you can just keep them going and you can get so much from so little this is a piece of corn and you can see the corn you can actually see it's corn on this side and the mycelium have coated and colonized the entire corn this edge this is the freshest mycelium because it's the furthest away from the inoculate inoculation point which is the grain so you can just kind of gently place it on so this lion's mane is this, this is not a clean culture you can see there's some bacteria that built up here and this is just because this is from a wild sample. This is uh, pretty normal to see. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. The extra safe. So this lion's mane knows that the nutrient is contaminated. So it started growing vertically off the plate to escape it. You can see it's like the original inoculation point is kind of like the middle of the mycelium, that little star the middle of the star but um everything else here is new so if you wanted you could take this fresh growth because you know this is probably sterile as long as the bacteria hasn't grown up to it and this might actually be a better case for This one, we'll see which uh, which one grows better. There we go. That's all it takes. We're gonna go down to the plate. We'll pick a clean part. You can see there's some bacteria here. There's some bacteria there. There's some over there. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna cut out smallest piece possible. 
only because we know there, there's contamination on this plate. So we want the smallest piece to isolate it the best. I'm just gonna top this off. And this is why you take as many samples, you take, take more samples than you think you need. Because there have been so many times when I thought I took enough and it just wasn't. You just have to increase your chances of success. video or in the next few videos but um this is Shay from Microdex Mushrooms signing out see you guys later hey Microdex here if you guys want to support the channel and save some money on some plant and fungi supplies go and check out the plant cell technology store and use the code Microdex to save 10%